Today on the channel, we're serving up pancakes with our favorite cook, Dexter Jester, in R2-D2. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxing and review in 2021 and possibly beyond. And today, we've got R2-D2, hot garbage, old faithful hot garbage, hopefully not today, we'll investigate, and then we got our favorite short order cook, Dexter Jetster. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. So we're going to unbox more of these 2002-ish era Star Wars figures, and we're going to start with old Dexter Jetster, because, hey, I got a, I'm a sucker for a cook. Somebody who can make me some flapjacks and tell me some secrets, sign me up all day long. But there he is in the package. A big figure, an alien, a creature. Man, you guys know that hits my wheelhouse. You know I'm excited for this figure. A lot of good, crazy big aliens throughout the years with this one. Uh, a Fon Mon being the gold standard, I would say. But this one is pretty cool. And we all remember that scene in the diner with our old pal Obi-Wan Kenobi. But he's looking only like he could look, of course. Good glamour shot at the bottom. Coruscant Informant is what his name is. And Cook. But get to the back. We got the big blurb, the generic one. Then we got the one we'll read. You got some showing what the figure can do, what he's up to with all of his knives and stuff. Looks like kind of like a big bullfrog that you'd find out on the golf course. And you got a cross cell down below. And, of course, 10 Jedi Master Points. Let's get down to it. Let's see what's going on here. He's got a couple of knives and a couple of things going on, so... Let's see. Let's see what's happening, old Dexter. And once again, I forgot to read the back. Let me read the back. Hold on. Let me read the back. I got too into it. I just get so excited to get these big Star Wars figures. I just can't resist. I can't resist. But we got to do it formally. We got to read the back. We got to have documentation of the whole process here. That's the way I work. Dexter Jetster, a cook in the Coruscant Diner. Dexter Jester picks up plenty of information as he's serving his patrons. An old friend of Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's always willing to share his information for a price see you later just like any informant out there they're always got their price they're like a young million dollar man teddy biasi uh, everybody's got a price including our favorite cook dexter see you later get out of here big plastic prison i just realized he has four arms i don't know where i was he's got four arms and two legs he's he's like a, a mutated frog i guess at this point i'm not sure what this little accessory is so that'll be interesting to See if I can figure out what that is exactly. Pull him out there. And then he's got this like sword going on. Of course, it's locked in with all kinds of tape. So if I can bust that out, there it is. How much tape do you need? Jeez. See you later up high. There it goes. Now, this is interesting. Now, why does this butcher knife have effects on it? Why does it have all these? Oh, it's sticky. Gross. Why does it have all these effects? I don't remember. Did he do something with some effects? Or did he get shocked or something in the diner? I don't know exactly why. But it's a big butcher knife. But also looks like a, a ninja sword. Kind of the handle and everything else there. But still fairly cool. And then he's got a big old fish knife. that he's going to fillet some fish maybe. Maybe cut up some nice salmon. Uh, some stuffed salmon maybe. Get, get real fancy on us. Very interesting. And then I'm not sure what this little piece is. I, I, I have no idea. It doesn't say in there. I don't know if it connects, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea what that little piece is. And maybe it's some scene in the movie I've already forgotten. But he does come with more weapons than I would assume. Uh, I do also have his uh, waitress for the diner, if you guys remember that. We unboxed her on the channel, I believe, maybe with R2-D2 as well. Uh, but we got her there, so now you can really get that scene in the uh, diner going on there. But then you get down to Dexter. And they've done a good job. It's like some of these figures you know you're never going to get again. I feel like Hasbro said, you know what, we got to make them good. Uh, he's even got like his arm tattoos in the side here going on. we got articulation on four arms. All four of the arms have articulation. That's why he's such a good cook. He has four arms. He could be working and flipping and flopping and flying everywhere. Uh, he's got his pants hanging down here. His gut kind of hanging out. Dirty gray shirt. I mean, it looks like it's in some scummy diner is kind of how he looks like he'd be there. I love that he's got the cool ponytail going because frog type people love ponytails. Uh, got kind of a spiked head. Just really cool head looking on this. This is a solid, solid figure. He's got the handkerchief in the back. He's got the apron, which is a softer plastic, but still hard. 
just a lot to like about this guy. I like it a lot. I like quirky alien characters like this that we don't get a lot of. I, I think it's just a cool thing of the Star Wars universe. Be it in the 3 and 3 Force or the Black Series, I'm here for it all day. There's a lot of cool looks with it. Just a lot of coolness about this figure. And I'm happy to have this one. This is probably one of my most... Uh, what am I most, my most favorite out of this series of Star Wars figures? Of course, Elephon Mon is the gold standards, like I said earlier. But Dexter, he's right up there. I love a big figure. I love interesting figures. A one-and-done mold. We talk about these companies get so much out of their molds all the time. But this is truly a one-and-done. So I do appreciate when things like that come. And those are some of the better figures we get over the years. So I'm all in for this one. And speaking of better figures, I hope I can say that about our friend R2-D2. Is You guys have seen a ton of these Star Wars videos where I've said... I've proclaimed this to be absolute hot garbage and thrown it across the room. We've had that in the past. I'm sure we'll have it again. I hope it's not today with this R2. So let's dive in, see what's doing with old R2-D2 here. There it is. We know the packaging. We've seen this before. It comes with Assassin Centipede. So that's something different for R2. Uh, oh, I guess we can press a button for robotic sound and lights. Oh, okay. Well, look at that. I didn't even realize that. So that's kind of neat. So we got a little play feature there. He's got an electronic alert. Coruscant Sentry from the Attack of the Clones. On the back, we've got the cross cell. We got a little figure shots there. We got the blurbs. We got the Attack of the Clones. We got Star Wars. We got warnings. We got Jedi Master Points, of course. So let's get an old R2 out. Look at this. It's falling out. Read the back, I guess. I can't forget to do that, right? The ever faithful R two D two is utilized to guard Senator Padme Amidalia. Always resourceful, R two D two sounds an alarm when an attempt on her life is made by an assassin droid that inserts Kohan's assassin centipedes into Padme's sleeping chambers. Uh, that's a nightmare for a lot of people. See you later. Uh, they don't want any centipedes showing up in uh, their bed. I don't think. See you later. Up high, there it goes. We've got some uh, warnings, instructions. Probably battery life. Yep. Takes those uh, A76 button cell batteries in here. And I can't believe 20 years almost at this point, these are still firing. Uh, very cool, though. See you later. Uh, plastic Prison, you got Centipede, you got R2-D2. You got a lot of fun, especially if you like electronic toys out there. Let's see. These Centipedes, I don't know what I'm going to do with these Centipedes. See you later. Centipedes are just uh, what you'd expect them to be, just plastic accessories. I guess that's a tail on the end, like a stinger, an orange stinger against a gray-blue centipede. Kind of is what it is there, but a neat feature. I guess it's something neat. It's an alien species. We'll take it. Then you get to R2. He's got a little yellowing going on. Uh, luckily, no flaking of the paint, uh, but not a lot of paint to f uh, flake off as it is not movable on the head. The head is standard. It stays there. But yeah, we got a lot of good yellowing going on. So this R2 for me is going to be a background R2-D2, something that's in the background of a display. He's not going to be up front and center. I can't have a yellowing R2 up front and center. Uh, it's just not the way. It's not going to work for me. But he does have articulation on all three of his feet. We're going to call him feet. We're calling him feet. Uh, but the big gimmick here, of course, is the button you push. Let's see if he makes other noises. There's the alarm. So pretty cool with the lights blowing up like that. For a $5 figure, I, I think that's pretty solid. I wish he wasn't yellow. This would be a very solid R2-D2 if he didn't have yellow uh, going on. But per R2-D2, per C-3PO, we got to have hot garbage almost every single time. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. It's not like I'm going to set up a display shelf of Padme sleeping with centipedes going into her. I don't think that's in the cards for my display. Uh, maybe I'll throw these in like Jabba's Palace just on the ground. Like you would expect to see something like this in Jabba's Palace. Maybe that's what I'll do with it. But it's all right. I, I love this figure. This one is a step above hot garbage because of the sounds and everything else. I like what they're doing here. Just wish it wasn't yellow. That brings it way down for me. Nothing worse than yellowed figures. Like I said, we've talked about that on the channel. I've got videos on it. Don't let your figures get yellowed. Stay away from that. It's no good. It's not a good look. But Dexter Jetster, sign me up all day long. I'm here for him. He's the winner here. Probably the winner of the week, most likely, in the Star Wars unboxings. But what say you? Did you have these? Any thoughts on these? Yeah, you guys tell me in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Dexter and R2, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.